After coach made me the starting quarterback, our record went from 0-1 and to 2-1. and And I was feeling like nothing can go wrong. And like I said before, I'm not the dancing type of guy, but I was feeling like I can do anything that night. So I decided to dance with the chick I met at the club. And we was getting it in on that dance floor. And things got heated up quickly. I was all over her, and she was all over me. Next thing I knew, she turned around, came a little closer, and we started making out. Then right after that, we went to the bathroom. <laughs> and you should know what happened after that. And after our little situation in the bathroom, she slipped me her number and her address, and she left the club. So I left as well. And as soon as I stepped foot out that club, that's when I got that message saying my mom was found laying unconscious on the floor in the middle of her kitchen and was taken to a hospital far from where I was. And I just took off running, looking for the closest taxi I could find so I can get a ride to the hospital she was taken to. And it took a while to find a taxi, but when I got in that taxi, all I could think about was my mother and how good of a mother she was. I mean, I never heard or seen her curse, catch attitudes, or even cry at that. And she told me everything, but she kept one thing from me this whole time, which I found out about that night, which is she has heart problems. And I knew why she kept that from me, but I just couldn't believe it. And when I seen her lying in that hospital bed through the window, I couldn't stand there and watch her in that condition. So I prayed for her to be okay. Then I had to leave. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then the next day, she was pronounced dead. And after the funeral, I had practice to go to. And my mother's death was still on my mind and everyone could see it on the field. I was throwing bad passes. Getting sacked. Even throwing interceptions. I mean, it was, it was just bad. And the very next day we played Clemson, which is ranked at number 10. And coaching my teammates needed me to get straightened up so we can win that game. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we are now live here in New York City, the home of Syracuse, matching up against ranked number 10 Clemson Tigers as the Tigers go ahead and choose tails. And Syracuse will be kicking the ball to Clemson, which means Syracuse will be getting the ball back at halftime. And Antonio Mars is out here for the first play of the game after his mother passed away a couple of days ago. Rest in peace to Mrs. Mars as Jerome Smith get a seven yard run, just three yards shy of the first down. Play action pass, stepping back in second and three. He throws it right up the middle to West, Jay West, and he gets brought down on the Syracuse logo for 21 yards. And on the very next play, it is first and 10. He's stepping back. This is another play action pass. He has a lot of space on the right side of the field, but look, he goes ahead and dives on the floor for seven yards when he could have picked up 10 and got the first down. But it's second and three, another play action pass. He's looking for a receiver. He throws it all the way to the left side of the field for Kobina, and he gets the catch, and that's touchdown 44 yards on that reception that was a nice throw by Antonio Mars and that was a beautiful catch by Jeremiah Cobina and Syracuse are the first to put points up on the board it's seven to nothing shout outs to Syracuse defense they stopped Clemson from scoring and that is one thing I am not a fan of is the pitching I do not like pitching at all but one thing I am a fan of is the screenplay as you can see right here but Jerome Smith only picks up five yards as he get tackled out of bounds and it's now third and five and now we are in the second quarter this is the first play of the second quarter a Mars is changing some routes he hikes the ball looking for a wide receiver throw it over to Clark and look at that nice pass by Antonio Mars for 29 yards to Christopher Clark and look at Christopher Clark getting hyped with his teammate first and 10 he changes some routes once again stepping back looking for somebody to get open and he almost get hit and that was almost an interception bad pass by A. Mars. he got to do better and it's now first and 10 A. Mars stepping back throwing to the right side of the field and that's Beckett Wells catching that ball for the 16 yards and stopping the clock since he ran out of bounds and it's now first and goal 307 left A. Mars running up the middle and he trucks over his defender getting into the end zone and that's A. Mars first rushing touchdown of this game and that's the way you take out your anger young man just run straight to the opponent run his ass over bury his ass in the dirt well that's just my opinion uh, let's just get back to this game, shall we? 
And Clemson went ahead and scored, so it's now 7-14, and and Syracuse defense couldn't do anything about it as Beckett Wells go ahead and receive the ball, picking up 16 yards, giving Syracuse another first and 10 as Amar stepping back to throw. He's throwing it to Fleming, and look at that perfect pass right through the two defenders. Perfectly thrown to Fleming as he picks up the first down. And Cobina's defender is pressing up on him, so he should be wide open as Amars hikes the ball, throwing it right to Cobina, but it is picked off. It is intercepted, and Blanks is looking to take this one back home for a pick six, and Antonio Mars missed the tackle. But luckily, his teammates got him before he can get that pick six, and Antonio Mars is just really disappointed right now. He really wants to win this game for his mother, but it's second and four. They really need to score before this half is over, and he threw a deep pass, a risky pass. Pass, another bad pass by A. Mars. I know they're trying to score, but that was just too risky to throw. That was almost an interception, but it's third and four. He's throwing it to Clark, and look at Clark going up the field, but he gets brought down, and that's 32 yards. And it's now 15 seconds left. First and 10 to A. Mars stepping back, throwing it to West. Boom! Bitch. Boom! Bitch. Boom! Bitch! West got up like a man after that tough hit, and that's what I always love to see. But we are now in the third quarter, first and 10 play action pass. Mars looking for West. He throws it, and he catches the ball on that 14-yard catch, and that's another first and 10 for Syracuse. Antonio stepping back, looking for somebody to throw it to. He throws it to West once again and picks up another first down on that 16-yard reception. Play action pass, it looks like. Yes, it is. He's stepping back. Throwing it to West once again, and that is a 40-yard reception. That is another first and 10 for Syracuse. They are making their way up the field, second and inches. 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Beckett Wells is receiving the ball for 13 yards on that reception, and it is now first and goal. They made it all the way up the field for this play right here. Antonio Mar stepping back, throwing it to West, and it is picked off. They just came up the field for no reason they made it all the way up the field and Antonio Mars threw an interception in the end zone I know he is stressing and Clemson went ahead and tied the game up so it is now 21-21 this game just became a classic as Jared West picks up 12 yards on that reception giving Syracuse another first down as A. Mars is stepping back throwing it over to Cobina and it is an incomplete pass I got a feeling coach is going to take him out the game. Stepping back. He's throwing it deep all the way over to West. And it is incomplete once again. And yes, coach has went ahead and took Antonio Mars out of the game. With 2 minutes and 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Clemson went ahead and scored. So they are now down by a touchdown with 1 minute left. Antonio Mars is trying to scramble. And he only picks up a couple of yards. 4 yards to be exact. And it is now 1 minute left on the clock second and six Antonio Mars stepping back 58 seconds left he finds Cobina he catches it getting some yards and boom bitch damn Cobina got hit hard he got put down but that's what I love to see you get put down fast and get right back up 52 seconds left Antonio Mars dish it off to Christopher Clark and he picks up the first down with 13 yards on that reception 28 seconds left second and 10 he's finding Beckett Wells wide open by himself and he gets in the end zone and they are gonna tie this game up all they have to do is play great defense for 24 more seconds and they can go to overtime and possibly win this game 24 seconds left can Syracuse step up on defense and the answer is no. Clemson scored with 24 seconds left on the clock. And Syracuse lost. This got to be tough for Antonio Mars. It really has to suck. But I will see y'all in my next video. Peace. It's your man, Sean Peaks. When I was 21 21